IBP has a long history of working in Kenya on a wide range of budget issues with the aim of increasing public understanding and engagement with budgets and budget transparency at both the national and county level. In the year 2016, IBP Kenya began promoting a new approach of public engagement with budgets termed deliberating budgets. The approach is rooted in theories of deliberative democracy, which emphasizes on the importance of giving and debating reasons for the choices we make. This project is just to give demonstrations on how we could better structure public participation to achieve this, to achieve a, a point where the, the government feels the pressure to give decisions that are backed by reason and the public responding to that they are able to say having considered for example sector performance we think this particular sector should get more or shouldn't get more and that that goes for other budget decisions when people are equipped to understand what it is we're deciding and what are the factors to consider when we're deciding those things then they're better equipped to make better decisions or to respond to proposals by the government. To ensure that participants had the necessary background about the government budget before venturing into these deliberations, IBP Kenya organized the first part of the day to help participants learn. They also prepared specific roles for a facilitator and an expert and asked experienced staff to play these roles. For every forum, remember this is more than 100 people for some cases, even 200 people, you need someone who is actively guiding the forum. Someone who is thinking about, if we're going to decide, what are the options for deciding? So you throw those options to the forum, and then the forum can say, well, now that we know the options of deciding, then we choose one way to decide as opposed to another, and this is what befits us. But if there's no one who is actively moderating the session, if there's no one who is actively dispelling, for example, misrepresentations, then people continue to have discussions that are based either on false statements or are based on um, skewed uh, op uh, opinions. Okay? So having a facilitator in any deliberative forum then you have to have someone who is actively moderating and facilitating the discussion through the three forums in mombasa isiolo and nakuru ibp kenya facilitators played key roles in ensuring the forum's main objective was met We anticipate facilitators in any budget forum should have the knowledge of what is going on in the county, first of all, or in the national government, and be able to educate the people in the forum on what is relevant for the decision they are making. So, leo tutakuwa na nafasi ya kusoma sekta za national government zinakaa inagani, zinakaa na mnagani, na jambo la pili, na hiyo ndiyo decision ambayo mutakuwa munafanya leo, ni ni pesa ngapi zinatakiwa kupatiwa kwa kila sekta. So kuna sekta kumi. Na katika hizi sekta kumi, kila sekta ina wizara kadhaa na idara kadhaa za serikali. Ukiangalia katika uh, katika vi, vi, vitabu vya serikali na katika budget tutaona kwamba wizara na idara za serikali ni zaidi ya kumi, si ndio? Kwa hivyo kila sekta kuna zile idara ambazo ziko ndani yake ambazo zinafanya majukumu ambayo yana yanafanana. Na nataka tuangalie kwa mfano Ukiangalia katika uh, katika sekta ya education tunaona kwamba kuna kuna idara kadhaa hapa kuna state department of basic education lakini ukiangalia katika budget utaona kwamba kuna ile mipangilio ya serikali ambayo itakuwa chini ya kila wizara for example ukiangalia hiyo wizara ambayo tumeona ya basic education tunaona kuna primary education secondary education kuna mambo ya kuhakikisha kuhakikisha kwamba kuna quality katika ile education ambayo inapatikana na mambo ya administration Lakini kitu moja ambacho utaona ni kwamba the discussion or the big decision that we will be making will be at the sector level. Sawa sawa. The sector discussion is one of the most important parts of our formulation of the budget. Hizi sekta kumi ndio serikali huwa ikianza kutengeneza budget inajiuliza. Je, kwa ile shilingi moja tuko nayo, tutagawanya aje katika hizi sekati ya hizi sekta kumi. Sawa sawa. That is the biggest decision we have to make every year. What is our total budget and how much money do we give to each sector? 
na wananchi wanahusishwa kivipi katika hii process kwa hivyo government kuanza kutengeneza budget yake kwanza wanajiuliza tutapatia kila sekta pesa ngapi tukimaliza tukijua kama sekta ya education tunaipatia pesa ngapi ndio sasa tunaangalia katikati ya hizi sekta katikati ya uh, sekta moja kuna ministry ngapi ambazo ziko ndani yake kwa hivyo kitu ya kwanza lazima tujifunze ni hizi sekta ni nini ni ministry gani ziko ndani ya sekta gani wanapatiwa pesa ngapi nilisikia mtu akisema si ungetuambia hata walipatiwa pesa ngapi last year ndio hata mimi nikijiuliza saa hizi ni kuwa at least na mahali ya kuanzia si ndio na hiyo ndio nataka ikuwe kitu ya kwanza yenye tutafanya leo ndio by the time tunafanya discussion ya kusema hii ndio maoni yetu at least tukue tunaelewa hizi sekta huwa zinafanya ni sio ni njia mzuri kuanza sawa sawa so if you go to um, a forum and uh, people are unsure for example what should national government do what is the county doing now and people do not know that then there should be someone to answer those questions and say actually the health function is heavily devolved haya kadi ya tatu sasa unaweza tusomea kadi ya tatu yongele about national and county functions aha ee kimimi zinamaanisha majukumu majukumu ya serikali kuu na majukumu ya serikali ya ugatuzi Aha inahusiana vipi unafikiria inahusiana vipi? Kwa nini lazima ujue mambo haya wakati unafikiria juu ya bajeti za sekta? As for my knowledge serikali kuu ndio mama yake serikali ya county. Na mambo kwa nini nasema hivi? Huyu county lazima ile na national government na sustain wananchi wake. Kwa maana utasikia maybe budget repetition county ya kwa 15% ni wajibu wake yeye ana kafuate hiyo 85% katika national government. Jambo moja la muhimu sana 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 lazima tuelewe leo. Ni kwamba bajeti ya serikali kuu haina pesa za serikali za kaunti. Wakati tunafanya ugavi wa pesa serikali kuu inapatiwa kiwango chake, serikali za kaunti zinafanya nini? wanapatiwa kiwango chake kila mtu anaenda anatengeneza bajeti yake kivyake katika hii budget ambayo tunaangalia hii ya national league ni zile pesa ambazo national government ilipatiwa kiwango chake sawa sawa county nazo zinapata uh, sehemu yao wanaenda wanatengeneza bajeti zao lakini zile bajeti ambazo wanatengeneza zinalingana na yale majukumu ambayo katiba ilizipatia function moja ambayo imekuwa devolved sana sana na mumeona baada ya mgomo wa madaktari ni health. Kwa hivyo wakati tunaangalia hii health hapa haina zile hela ambazo county zinatumia katika majukumu ya afya. Haya nani yako na 9.3? Eh. Debt versus services. Debt versus services. Um for debt I want everyone to understand when donors are giving us money they don't give us money for recurrent expenditure. Most of the time, our services are paid by our own taxes. So the government will collect money through taxes and use it for services. Kwa sababu services ni mtu anapatia na kama mwalimu, kama daktari, services, si ndio? Mara nyingi tukipata madeni ni ya infrastructure. For example, gani nyenye sahii na inasikika sana ya deni SGR. SGR tumepata deni kutoka wapi? China. Haya. Sasa tunaweza amua tunataka kufanya hizo vitu za infrastructure. Inamaanisha kuwa kwa sababu hatuna hizo pesa nyingi tutachukua madeni. Si ndio? Kwa sababu tunaona tukikuwa na SGR labda tutasonga mbele zaidi. If we are discussing a budget decision and someone says something that is misleading or is not true then we should have someone who has the knowledge to say that is not true kirudi nyuma kidogo ina mali inapotea hapo kwa budget making step 1 kuna hiyo formulation it take place between january january to april inaanza inaanza end of august end of august inaanza end of august inaenda all the way mpaka april 30th 
Bajeti lazima zikuwe zimefika katika National Assembly kufikia April 30th na lazima National Assembly kwa ime approve your budget kufikia June 30th. Wakimaliza ku approve budget narudi wapi? Katika wizara za serikali. Zile idara za serikali ndio zinafanya implementation. Implementation inaanza July 1st. Miezi kumi na miwili hadi June 30th ya mwaka ujao. Tukimaliza implementation hiyo June 30th mambo yote ya bajeti yanatoka katika idara hizo zote za serikali, parliament na kadhalika inaenda kwa auditor general. Auditor general anaangalia zile hela ambazo zimetumika, zimetumika kivipi. Na yeye ana muda wa miezi sita kuanzia July 1st hadi December 30th. Now this is very 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 important. Kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine utafikiria kuna ministry fulani nafikiria iko kwa hii sector but in the real sense ukienda kuangalia details za hiyo sector unapata hiyo ministry haiko hapo for example wacha niulize tu swali haraka haraka polisi unafikiria polisi wako kwa sector gani hapa ukiangalia wangapi wanasema national security aha wale ambao wajainua mnafikiri kwa sector gani rukia public administration wangapi public administration nikiwaambia iko kwa hizo sekta mbili mtaniamini iko kwa sekta gani governance law and unaona hapo governance justice law and order ministry ya interior haiko kwa national security haiko kwa public administration iko kwa governance justice law and order That's why this information you have here is very useful. Because when you will be participating, kumbuka, when you are in public participation, unataka kuhakikisha una participate in the right process. Si ndio? Ukisikia sector ya national security inakuja isiolo and you care about security matters. Alafu hiyo siku ya national security ndio wewe unatokea mkutano na umetoka Merti, si ndio? Merti ndio Merti ni mbaya, huko ndio kwa kwa eh. <laughs> umetoka meriti mpaka Isiolo town kukuja ku participate kwa process then you realize actually that is not the process i was supposed to be participating in another function of the facilitator we see is to track what is happening to help the participants to bring together what is what is it where have they reached in their decision making process Okay? And that function can be helped by having a rapporteur. For example, if you're making decisions on how much to give each sector, there can be a rapporteur to say, so far we have said this much to help because of this. Do we still hold that opinion or not? So the work of a facilitator is to track the decision-making process, the deliberation, so that people because there are many voices rising there are many voices being heard then to bring everything together and say this is what we've said do we stand by it still have we changed our mind kitu muhimu yenye lazima tukumbuke ni at this is it tofauti mnaona hapa ni kitu ya kawaida okay any time you have public participation people will have different views the question is how do you arrive at the final decision tafanya consensus consensus ni ile kuelewana election ile mnasema tunaangalia education tunaona kuna tofauti wangapi wanasema 25 watu wanainua mkono wangapi wanasema 20 watu wanainua mikono ile mingi inashi inashinda hiyo ni election ya tatu kuna zingine hata mathematics watu wanasema tufanye average atuelewani hapa eh haya basi fanya average hapa mwisho hiyo ndio tumesikizana ni hiyo So how do we make this decision? I'm leaving this to you. It's not up to me. It's for you to agree. Let's go one by one, eh? Uh -huh. Let's say education. Uh -huh. Group 1 on the same on 25. Uh -huh. Group 2 on the same at 20. Uh -huh. Group 3 on the same at 20. And group 4 on the same at 20. If we go <laughs> by the average. <laughs> Because that is 85. 85 divided by 4 is about uh, 21. So we get 21 now. Aha, so we una sema yende mathematical. Mathematical. Aha. Anyone with a different point he's made his he's made his suggestion very clear. 
Uh -huh. Where the figures are close, uh -huh. we can we can do mathematics. Okay. But where there is a big disagreement, a yeah. big difference, yeah. we can discuss to see why these people are saying this and why these ones are saying I like that. Do you agree with that? Yes. So what is our final approach to making this decision? Now we need to agree on one. Consensus. Science consensus. I think the best democracy any other group discussion it's just by being in the face of hands <laughs> because consensus is a very good thing but sometimes if somebody has his or her own idea that is stuck on his head it's very difficult to accept the majority of it even if is either wrong or right so the, the good the good thing is let us just accept democracy of raising by hands then we pick the majority voice okay so that's slightly different so that one is let's do a simple voting pattern. Aha, Mokera. Lakini to kufanya voting, uh -huh. there's a high likelihood uh -huh. that everyone will vote for their menu. <laughs> then we will be back to where we started. There's a high likelihood many to talk about what you are not to have. So it's very difficult. Let's have a group here when you are too angry. Mtashinda. Tyranny of numbers. Tyranny of numbers. Tyranny of numbers. Ah, yeah. Let me hear the last, and it has to be a conclusive one that is agreeable to everyone. No, I think let us be genuine with each other. <laughs> let us listen to each other's opinion. Let us judge from whatever views they are giving. Mm -hmm. If their view is, is heavier and is pulling you towards them, vote for them genuinely. Not mm -hmm. because you are in agriculture or in education, you want to go towards there and you know you cannot support your point. If someone is giving valid reason, go with them. So what do we go with and how do we decide this? 20. We have 20, 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. we have 23. 20. 20. What do we go with? 20. 20. Someone is saying mean grain? 20. You also free to vote. Eh? In the case you have options limit here, you want to vote. Yes. Okay. 20. 20. I only want to you one, two, three, three, four, five, six. That's 12. I have 25. 25. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, thirteen, twenty-three. None. Twenty-five. That's two, four, three. Three. Four. three, four. three four. So which one are more? Twenty. Twenty-five. Emphasis was also given on how to make trade-offs and how to approach development. At the same time, the facilitator encouraged participants to ask questions and engage each other in reasoned debate. So the facilitator helped the learning process to be much um, palatable for the participants. And, and all through the day, we'll see instances of the facilitator being that information reservoir and even providing other avenues that people would interrogate if they wish to interrogate more uh, documents, then the facilitator is in a position to guide them on where to check. So a facilitator's role in terms of giving information is not dispensable. There has to be someone who is moderating but must be well versed with what the decision at hand is all about. These forums have seen a significant increase of knowledge in the national budget making process and a common desire by participants to be involved in the process. IBP Kenya, open budgets transform lives.